The only choke lever in the Smart Choke system is attached to the carburetor, similar to the carb of a manual choke engine. The pull-off link connects the choke lever to an air vane. The air vane uses airflow generated by the cooling fan to move the air vane against a torsion spring. At full travel, the air vane opens the choke plate about 40%. It's important to remember the air vane is not designed to fully open the choke, only to open it about 40% as soon as the engine is running. A torsion spring connected to the air vane is continuously attempting to close the choke plate, regardless of engine temperature. Inside the choke thermostat is a bimetallic torsion spring that is electrically heated to create rotation. The choke thermostat is also connected to the choke lever. As the thermostat heats, it opens the choke plate from about 40% to fully open. Remember, the air vane opens the choke about 40% as soon as the engine is running. The bimetallic thermostat is used to open the choke plate from about 40% to fully open. As the thermostat slowly cools, combined with the action of the torsion spring, the choke plate slowly returns to the fully closed position. The choke thermostat receives battery voltage from the oil pressure switch. When the engine is running and oil pressure is present, the oil pressure switch completes the power supply circuit to the choke thermostat. In short, if the choke thermostat isn't heating or operating, the oil pressure switch is the first component to test or replace. Oil pressure switch failures could also be intermittent or vibration induced, meaning the choke could be turning on and off of a warm and running engine. With this failure, the engine is likely to run intermittently rich and poor. With a cold, not running engine, the choke plate should be closed. The torsion spring and choke thermostat holds the choke plate closed. With a cold engine, now running, the air vane opens the choke about 40% as soon as the engine is running. As a side note, the engine needs to be running at the proper speed. Too slow and the air vane may not be activated. This is why the low speed setting is about 1800 RPM on smart choke engines. Now that the engine is running, the choke thermostat is receiving battery voltage from the oil pressure switch. The thermostat will fully open the choke plate from 40% to 100%. It takes about two minutes to fully open the choke. With the engine warm and running, the choke thermostat is continuously receiving battery voltage from the oil pressure switch and holding the choke open. Our warm engine has been shut off and the choke is now closing. The oil pressure switch is no longer providing battery voltage to the choke thermostat and the thermostat is cooling. The thermostat and torsion spring closes the choke, which takes about 10 minutes. Troubleshooting can be simplified when more information is known about the failure. For example, if the choke plate doesn't open from close to about 40%, the air vane, torsion spring, and linkage should be inspected. Do all components move freely? Inspect for air vane contact with the spark plug lead, or linkage contacting the wiring harness near the intake manifold. If the choke plate opens to 40% when the engine is started but won't open any further, inspect the choke thermostat and oil pressure switch. The choke thermostat can be powered for testing using a jumper wire to B+. Remember, the oil pressure switch is normally open. When oil pressure is present, the switch closes and supplies positive battery voltage to the choke thermostat. If an intermittent failure is suspect, the oil pressure switch can be tested with a multimeter, test light, or bypassed with a jumper lead for testing purposes. And don't forget about the video on Kohler Engines University YouTube, which can be accessed anytime you need it.